So nowadays, when you watch Republicans campaign against Democrats, they don't campaign much on what they used to, which was, you know, the Democrats were big spenders or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. What, it's all about critical race theory. Sure. And it's all this cal cancel culture stuff. Yes. The biggest problem. Why does it work and what should, the, what should Democrats do? do you, are they falling for a bait in doing this and talking about these issues? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if they're falling for a bait, but I mean, I think, again, I, I, I don't even think half of the Republicans that do it even mean it. I think it's, they think it's an they appeal think it to works. emotion. Right. What would you do if you were out of governing ideas? If you, if you didn't know how to govern a country of this magnitude and a country of this diversity, and uh, you basically are running on government is broken, and then when you get in office, you have to be terrible to prove the original premise, like, it must be great to be able to do that. This uh, government doesn't work, and by me not funding it and breaking it, see, see what I told you, keep me in power. If you don't have ideas on governing, what do you do? Well, you do the purposeful distortion field that they create. But, but it works, and by the way, right? Because it's emotional. It does makes, it work? I, I don't Who's know. Who's the it, president? Well, but I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily work. It gets people upset. It gets them angry. It makes them fearful about threats and, and, uh, and, and hyper, uh, you know, hy hyperbole and makes them afraid of things that can't even really be defined, meanwhile ignoring so many issues that... Like, right, it's a kind of real appeal to a, you know, a, a base that you stoke right. up. When uh, Sarah Huckabee Sanders did the response to the State of the Union, I noticed she, she kept talking about CRT. She didn't even bother to spell it out. To it don't, because most people, I, I would assume most average free, Americans don't know what it means. The guy who came up with that, that's purposeful. He's made, he, his plan is make everything CRT. And by the way, all this diversity initiatives and CRT and all those other things are only there because we refuse to actually fix the real problem. The diversity and equity initiatives are a salve. They're a, a, to pacify and mollify because we won't actually do the real thing. We won't actually dismantle uh, the vestiges of all the systemic racism and all the systemic classism and all the systemic gender issues. We won't actually dismantle that. But what we will do is you can have an office in the building and every few months we're going to have to sit and listen to you talk for like an hour. And so we're good, right? Like it's a country that won't face the real... I'll explain it uh, like, the, okay, the NFL, right? You know the Rooney Rule? The Rooney Rule in the NFL is because there are so few African-American coaches, you have to at least interview like one of them. So that's the rule now. Instead of, it's the thing you put in place instead of looking at the owner's box and realizing, oh, right, that's just the legacy of the economic segregation that's been in our country since its founding. So we're never going to deal with that. So here's what we are going to do. A diversity and equity initiative, we're going to have to talk to one black guy. So are we good? <laughs> I think we're good. But that's what I'm, what I'm trying to say is we don't, the thing that they're pointing at is the thing that's in place because we won't do the actual thing. You, for so, you sound like somebody who has a lot of anger and a lot of rage, <laughs> and yet you're, yet you're very funny. And, and, and like, uh, how, do you, how, how do you keep all, all that together? Like you're, there's a part that's, of you that's very optimistic. There's a part I'm of, very optimistic. But you sound angry. I, I don't mean to sound like your therapist. No, 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 I understand. But wouldn't you, why, aren't, why isn't everybody <laughs> about real things? I mean, you, you want to be upset about real things, but isn't that what drives comedy or art or anything is emotion, whether it's anger or joy or love or what are there other emotions? There's got to be more than that. Sadness probably Hate, is in there. Envy. Hate, envy. I, okay.
<laughs> that says something there. <laughs> that was just for age. Filling just, in the gaps. No, no, no. I understand. It's just top of mind. It was top of mind. Uh, you know, these are, it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch a state. You talked about Sarah Huckabee Sanders. It's hard to watch a state that's like 48th in, you know, infant mortality and, and child poverty and literacy and won't make take a big Medicaid deal about tr uh, a trans uh, girl that wants to play soccer that doesn't, uh, that happens like once every five years there. Like, it's hard to not be angry about people that try and distract from the real things that people face with weaponized nonsense. I get that, my point is, but then you also turn it into humor. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I just turn it into anger. And then sometimes I just turn it into gummies. <laughs> and late at night, I just take a bunch of those. And that helps. All right. For those of you watching at home, don't do drugs. Stay in school. <laughs>